When was the last time you stood in your bathroom, looked out the window, and that was the view that you got, huh? I guess whether you're getting clean in the shower or whether you're getting dirty in the shower, you can do that over there. Wow. This honestly has to be one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life, man. Look at this. <laughs> now that is how you do an intro. What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you what a $400 per night gets you in El Nido. Come and check this hotel out with me. So let me go ahead and show you what this room looks like, man. It is incredible, honestly. So this is, uh, I guess, the main living room. And straight away, I'm gonna get it out of the way, man. Look at this beautiful view. So obviously we have a panoramic window from floor to ceiling, literally wrapping around the whole room. And look at that, man. We are literally on the beach. You got the palm trees over there. You got the boats. You got the mountains there in the background. Today is a little bit overcast, so hopefully I can show you a little bit more when it's a little bit more sunny. But yeah, there you go. We have a couple of lounges over here. Uh, I guess you can use them even as a separate bed if you really wanted to, if you have a lot of guests over here. And just somewhere where you can rest your feet. Again, the greenery is, uh, I guess, a pretty much a theme throughout this hotel. And we have some nice wooden touches over here, a TV. And let me show you what the main bedroom looks like, man. This is what the room looks like. It is incredible. We have a TV over here. And again, some greenery. And look at these little touches, man. This is what I like about these kind of boutique hotels. Big chain hotels don't have time to do that sort of thing for you. But uh, yeah, they even had time to make the towers look like into love and swans. And this is the bathroom. And look at that, man. How photogenic is this, right? Like, uh, if, I think if you take a picture pretty much anywhere in this uh, room, you can put it on Instagram straight away. Look at this, the detail over here. A little uh, mosaic work, I guess. Well, I don't know what you call it. Stitching with like a little bamboo shoot. And again, bamboo frame all over the mirror. And here as well. Nice clean towels. Exactly what I like to see in a hotel, man. Whenever a hotel gives me their towels, man, or like a gray one or multicolored one, I'm usually suspicious. But one day, nice, clean, and white, I'm happy. And this is what the bathroom looks like. Nice rain for shower head. And look at this. Everything is nice and handmade, these touches, man. And of course, we have some uh, shower gel and shampoo. Oh, something which I didn't mention at night, if you leave uh, the, the windows open, you might get a little bit of bugs. So this one is ready to zap them all away. And again, just as with the other room, you have another beautiful panoramic balcony in this case. And my God, look at this. Right in front of us, we have a beautiful coconut tree and you can see the coconuts over there. And just over here, we are overlooking the pool and those mountains, man. Look at this. This is Instagram worthy all day long, huh? And uh, just to show you again, panoramic windows, panoramic windows, and panoramic windows. I guess there's a reason why they call this is uh, their main panoramic uh, room. In this hotel and actually this was only one part of the of the room there's another one <laughs> let me go ahead and show you that as well so uh there you go there is another bathroom so it's a i guess it's a, a, a one bed with a living room but two bathrooms man so if you're here with a lot of guests again man you are good to go another rainfall shower head and look at this view man when was the last time you stood in your bathroom, looked out the window, and that was the view that you got, huh? This honestly doesn't get older than this. Obviously, uh, there's blinds over here, so uh, I guess if you're going all out, uh, wherever that may mean for you, you can just put the blinds down and uh, get to it, whether it's, <laughs> I guess whether you're getting clean in the shower or whether you're getting dirty in the shower, you could do that over there. And uh, yeah, again, similar to the other bathroom, beautiful bamboo touches, clean, 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 and uh, nice sink over here. And these are little touches as well, man. I like these, just a single leaf and a little bit of water. 
just gives it that extra vibrancy really beautiful man uh and yeah that is pretty much the room tour and uh let me go ahead and show you what the rest of this hotel look like but before we're doing that i guess let's go ahead oh i didn't even show you uh there you go so we have also some uh capsule coffee over here look at this in uh, most of honestly most of the five star hotels i stayed in here for whatever reason they give you those little uh sachet of coffees well they're pretty good i think this is like a an extra level of uh, opulence it just makes it so much better man just an espresso machine and uh you're good to go as i was saying before finishing this room tour i have to uh finish it pretty much where i started it which is just to admire that view man good god it's so nice all right and if you are coming to El Nido man I cannot recommend this enough you have to get somewhere that's right on the beach that way you can watch these beautiful sunsets hello how are you you okay huh nice to meet you nice to meet you I'm Ali Thanks. nice to meet you sir and look at this beautiful view man look at that sunset oh my god look at that honestly this is probably one of the best sunsets I've seen probably ever certainly in a very very long time man you have the beach over there again nice low tide you have the fisherman boats over there you have dogs running around for a little bit and of course the mountain silhouettes clouds and those colors man beautiful Now, of course, it is my favorite time of the day. It is breakfast time. So first up, I have to say thank you to the staff over here. They've been very, very accommodating. Uh, even though the breakfast time finishes at 10 o'clock, right now it's about 11, half 11, they still said yes to us. How are you, Pop? Yes. Okay? Nice to meet you. My man, the chef, yeah? Yes. Thank you, boss. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's order. But before we do that, again, look at this beautiful view, man. The aesthetics here. You've got bamboo over here some solid wooden beams and of course the beautiful stainless steel that is black you got nice mirrors over here and of course the plants that are run throughout the steam all right so this is what the menu looks like a good selection of everything so there's a continental breakfast there's an international breakfast as well as a filipino breakfast so for me obviously i'm here in the philippines uh, so i'm gonna have to be going for that filipino breakfast i tried the corned beef before and it was delicious so i reckon i'm gonna go for it again and hopefully this one tastes even better than the last one where's my man yes. hello sir how are you i'm good you okay yeah uh is it possible i can go for the filipino breakfast please yes the, the double? uh which one is the recommendation the beef the or the adobo, chicken sir. The beef, um, that's a, like a fried chicken adobo uh-huh it's yeah. better than the beef mm, because the beef is just like a corn beef ah I see. Yeah. okay all right i'll go for your recommendation uh -huh. Um, chicken and bubble with garlic rice and scrambled egg up some. That would be perfect, uh, yes please. And how about for the drinks? Uh, do you have uh, orange juice and coffee? Um, oh yeah, oh. one orange juice one and coffee. one coffee. I will check if we have uh, orange juice now. Oh, well, whichever yeah. juice? A mango juice. Even better, ah, even awesome. better. Can Thank you sir. Coffee? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And uh, can I add the menu? And, uh, man, look at this. If their breakfast is anything as nice as this view, Man, we are going to be in for a real, real treat. And something which I really, really like about this hotel as well, of course, you can fully see into the kitchen. So there is our food getting picked there. There's the chicken. Uh, I believe this is uh, someone else's bacon. And there's our rice right there. It smells very good, brother. It smells very nice, very nice. There you go. My man's making those fresh, fresh eggs. All that beautiful open flame. Ah, oh, look at this. Nice thick omelette. Five minutes later and the food has appeared. So this is a Filipino chicken adobo, some garlic rice, and my god, look at this. You got some beautiful golden bits of garlic and that delicious looking omelette. Over here we have a thick with a double C coffee. Look at this. Usually it's like a completely see-through coffee. It looks like uh, someone's bath water, but this looks nice and delicious. And just over here, we have a nice mango shake. Look, look how thick this is. Look, 
the straw is just standing. That's how you know this is some real, real good stuff. So uh, I reckon there's only one way to do it, and that is to get rid of the straw, and uh, let's go for it straight away. Oh, brain freeze. <laughs> oh, that was delicious, man. Nice and thick. You can tell those mangoes are nice and fresh, man. So, so sweet as well. And I guess next, let's go ahead and try that coffee. I know I'm teasing you. I know all you want me to do is just taste that food. But for me, coffee is essential. If I can get a good coffee, I'm going to be happy in whichever hotel I'm staying in. And there you go. Give it a nice little mixture. And let's give it a taste. Mm. That is a nice, strong coffee, man. Very, very good. And uh, okay, I think I've teased you enough. Now is the time to go ahead and check out what this food is like. So let's get a nice little chunk of uh, that chicken. A little bit of that delicious looking garlic rice and a little bit of omelette basically a little bit of everything just how the chef intended me to be eating mm. wow wow that is so many different flavors that just hit you at once man we got that delicious nice and sour chicken a little bit sweet and then that garlic just smacks in the face and then just to finish it all off that delicious smooth omelette just rolls at the back of your tongue man honestly this garlic bread uh, this garlic rice mm. I don't think I've ever had garlic rice like this to be honest I've only had it from like 7-eleven in like a, a ready to eat meal so to have it fresh like this where he literally just cooked the garlic right in front of us it's a real real cheap man let's go again for another fully Satisfying bite. Mm. My God, that too. Oh my God. That's just delicious, man. And again, as I was saying to you before, we are enjoying this breakfast as well as enjoying that beautiful view, man. What did you think of your food as well, Daddy? Well, I'll not be able to describe it as poetically as you did. <laughs> very good, very solid. I would say, you know, very often when I just travel with, like, let's say, normal people, they ask me, like, why do you have such heavy breakfast? And here they understand me, you know? They bring some chicken, some freaking rice. Like, it's 12, so we did a bit of intermittent fasting, and now we're going in for some proper calories. It's yeah. good. One of the nice things about this hotel as well, you get, uh, some paddle boards included and also a kayak so uh, me and Danny are gonna share this kayak and hopefully maybe go all the way to Palawan with this thing you ready to do this Dan? I'm ready to go maybe Palawan was a short journey maybe we can go all the way to Koran with this thing huh? as you can see it looks pretty stable a two person boat, two paddles and it's actually a pretty big one. Uh, let's see, who's sitting in the back? Who's sitting in the front? Uh, I'm easy, whatever. Yeah, you go in front, I guess. Oh, yeah? yeah? All right. What a gentleman you are, man. A gentleman and a scholar, Danny. Yes, sir. All right. Whoop. So let's go all the way at the front. I can be, uh, you know, Titanic? Yep. Where, uh, where she puts her hands out. Sure. Oh. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm in the back. Oh, yeah. This is. Oh, yeah. Even though the boat is stable, I am unstable and I'm not just talking about my uh, floating ability, I'm talking about my mental state right now. Alright, ready to do this? Uh, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand, see if I can help out Dan. Yeah, we have to get our help off of the freaking beach. As you can see the beach right now is pretty much right, fully covered with the water. We got high tide today and uh, actually Danny's doing all the work since I got a camera. Oh this is fast man. I feel like we got a motorboat boy but 
I can't even speak. I feel like we got a motorbike engine. Oh my god, we're gonna crash into it. Hagi Saya! Let's go! <laughs> wow, this is fast! This is all Danny's power, so uh kudos to that guy. <laughs> wow man, look at this. We are literally just uh going past all of the hotels over here and we made it all the way to the other boats over here man but look at this view that is nice man so i would say we're about i don't know a couple of hundred meters into the sea right now it doesn't look that um that deep but it could be just a an illusion and this is what we're looking back at man this is our hotel over there really really nice hotel man we're out on the beach let's go pull up to that beach back there shall we which beach are oh, you thinking the all the way there <laughs> are you being serious i am being fucking serious come on get the pedaling that's scary bro i can't swim and i have no life jacket so uh don't worry about it nice man this is beautiful let's go harry ready how are you si ah Harry's doing a pretty good job as well. He's catching up. Manpower is on point today. So out in the water. This is nice, man. By in the back. You literally can't hear anything. Just us three vloggers. All right, now we are about, I don't know, 300 meters in. So uh, there you go. I'm just testing the water. So I guess it's about, I guess just about a meter high. So luckily there's like a sandbar over here. So, like you have uh, bits of uh, high sand everywhere pretty much so even though we are pretty deep in we're not actually that deep physically well then let's change that let's go <laughs> oh no come on let's pedal together bro all right onwards and upwards my man right, and we decided we're gonna go all the way up to that rock over there even though i can't swim it should be fairly safe we got a, a floating boat over here we have some rope on it and we have Danny who's a good swimmer, so yeah! <laughs> we have Let's go! <laughs> we have Danny the degenerate at the back. <laughs> oh look at that, some uh, seaweed going past. Okay, I kinda wanna I kinda wanna test how high it is this. It looks not that high, huh? No, it's not. Let's test it again. Oh yeah. Oh no, the whole thing goes in. Oh, okay. So I guess it's about six foot in, something like that. Ten centimeters. Ten centimeters. <laughs> Damn, we got Cobra. We got Cobra back rolling. Oh yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Prof, everything is possible if you believe in it. Let's go, Cobra. So we are approaching the huge rock. Got it on the drone shots as well. Oh yo. Let's go. The man cannot swim, but the man is brave. So uh, we're about 10, 15 minutes in roughly, and we're nearly there, man. We're making it, and I just realized there's actually a beach over there. Almost made it. Almost Let's there. go inhabit this island now. Put our flag, put the torch down. How cool that is, man. Huh? Stands over there. Super sick, man. Palm trees. Yeah, I'm gonna send the drone out later here, gonna get some shots, definitely. No, we're like 500 meters out. I know it because I was, oh shit, we're almost like a kilometer actually. I remember flying the drone here. Look at this beautiful water, man. Completely see-through crystal right underneath these big ass rocks. But oh, it looks like we're gonna be hitting another rock over here. The rock and the pebble are gonna collide. Oh. Wow, this is nice, man. And there we go. We made it. We actually made it, Danny. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I tell you what, the sand here is much nicer than on uh, our beach. This is just completely soft, beautiful white sand. Oh my god. Oh, my eyes are full of salt as well. This is beautiful, man. Oh my god. This, I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's little fishes everywhere as well. The water. It's just like a perfect temperature right now. This is sick. 
And there's our our new house. We're just gonna move here and live here, man. <sighs> this is insane. This is crazy, huh? Oh no, my torch! Wow, look at this. <laughs> Alright, let's touch this rock to claim it. Ali Machan was here. Whew. Let's go check out who's in this house. The doors are open, so I don't know if they just abandoned it or someone's still living there. But there's literally nothing here, man. I hope there's no snakes in the Philippines. I don't actually know. Let me know if there's snakes in the Philippines. This is sick. There you go. Is this someone's house? I'm not sure if it's someone's house. I mean, there is some uh, blankets and pillows. There's a cooker, but it's very, very dusty. So I don't think anyone's living here. Uh, oh, look at this. It looks like my man's been hitting that hard 80% proof gin. My God. Some beautiful artwork over there as well. And uh, statues over here. But I think no one's living here, to be honest. There's a lot of dust and looks pretty abandoned to me. I'm guessing they probably use this as like a rest house or something. Maybe if there's a storm, something like that. They just come and rest here. Pretty awesome little place, man. But as beautiful as this house is. Oh my God, look at this. This is insane. And as nice as the front view is, I think the back view is even nicer. Oh, look at this. A completely drowned boat it's completely sunk in there huh that's why you always got to take precautions i mean i'm a bit silly for coming out all the way here and i don't know how to swim but probability is pretty good i think danny's a good swimmer we got a a good floating boat with us the sea's not that high in most places and we're all all the way at the beach so i reckon we're good it's a calculated risk to come and see this Beauty man, look at this. Wow. This honestly has to be one of the most beautiful scenes I've seen in my life, man. Look at this, it's got a huge rock over here, some trees growing out of it, a nice little hut over here, and that sea, that water, man. I can't get over how beautiful this water is. The palm trees in the back there, and of course, it's that beautiful backdrop of the mountains. Huh. I think this is probably a good, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like a good summary of the Philippines, man. Pretty much every single day, I say this is my, my favorite day. This is top 10 moments in my life. And honestly, it keeps getting big, better and better. Man, that's so sweet. <laughs> Two of your best moments of your life are with the dawn. Of course, my man. <laughs> <laughs> How sick is this, man? No, nah, man, this is like the most buttery sand I've ever felt under my feet. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, this sand is even better than the one that we have back in hotel, huh? This is like, a, yeah, of course. No, back there is like, this is, yeah. Well, let's go around the rock. Let's do it. Uh, we put them, well, I guess we are literally the only two here. This is our own private beach today, man. This is insane. Let's go do a bit more exploring. But, uh, let's close my man's door. If he comes back. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think anyone lives here, but just to be respectful, close the door. Hopefully uh, no wild animals make it in there. Oof. All right, let's go explore. Yo, we just paddled another 10-15 minutes and made it all the way to this other private beach man and look at this view 
the water's even more beautiful than it was back there. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. And I don't know if you guys can see them. There's like a school of fish over here. Look at that. I hope you can see them, but there's like little shadows everywhere. Fishes. And this sand, oh my God. This is when I, what I think of when I think of sand. Look at this man, it is completely white, completely clean, no clams, nothing. Beautiful man. And uh, let's see what we have over here. Looks like uh, some sort of abandoned place over there. Oh, look at this. Chickens everywhere. Look at that, these are big, big chickens man. Oh, look at this. Chicken with its chicks as well. And we have the big one over here. Oh, there's some more over there. This one is massive, huh? All right, let's leave them in peace. And uh, let's make it back there. But something which I just noticed as well, is look at all these orange flowers everywhere, man. It is just littering the beach. This is so nice, man. I've never seen roses or flowers on the sand before, on such pristine waters. This is insanely beautiful, man. Look at this, pretty much every single corner you look at is like a photo in itself, right? So there you go, that's a picture there, 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 that's a picture there. A picture there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Dumbbell. Have you seen the dumbbell? No. What? Oh wow. That's the world's biggest dumbbells, huh? Let me go grab it, Ralph. Look at this. We have a little swing over here. I don't know if it's going to hold our weight. But let's try. Oh, oh it does work. <laughs> Alright, it's cool, man. Look at this. Just a bit of rope. Oh, look at this. We have some uh, red ants over here. Whoops. <laughs> I nearly killed myself. Can you imagine? I rode all, the, all across the sea. I can't swim. And the swing is the thing that will kill me. And we have Dogmachan. Yes, Dogo. What a cutie. It's a happy looking dog right there. All right. I reckon it's now time to head back to the hotel so let's get back on our boat and here we go now we are going through massive rocks over here man look at this that's insane I feel like a true voyager and by the looks of it we're gonna be going all the way to the hotel now Hotel is roughly all the way up there where the white houses are. So let's see if we can make it. We are both pretty tired. Oh, look at this. The rock is just hanging off the cliff. Nice oh. Drive -by. oh my God. This is insane. We're gonna go to the closest beach and walk it from there. Cause uh, this thing is exhausted, man. A little bit dehydrated, a little bit tired. <sighs> and we're running low on caffeine. So uh, let me put the camera down and help out Dan. Let's go. That was exhausting, man. We've been rolling for like, I don't know, an hour and a half. Oh, that was good. Oh. And take a quick dip. All that water that you see on my face is actually sweat. Oh, man. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I know that I would. Ooh. There you go, there's uh, some kids playing there on the beach as well. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing when we set out to do it, 
But I think it was, was a good a adventure. Hopping, man. That was pretty sweet, huh? That was pretty good. Guys, if you are wondering how to get a cheap boat tour in El Nido, now you know. $300 hotel and get the kayaks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no nah, man, it's much more fun than just a regular tour. Yeah, we got a good cardio out of it. A good adventure. Hello, how are you? High five, high five. Mama. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> how are you? You okay? Okay. <laughs> nice. There we go, man. We are nearly back at hotel and believe me i am happy we're about i don't know 200 meters down Whew, feels good man <sighs> yes i've never been so happy to go back to a hotel man <sighs> home sweet home and look who we have in the balcony hello saya there's harry 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 oh my god <sighs> that was a uh, supposed to be a 10 minute adventure and that turned into uh, an hour and a half, almost two hours paddling, man. Ah, let's, ah, ah, yeah. All right, let's drag this boat, put it back where it belongs, and leave it for the next person. Oh my God, this boat is full of water. I guess it's been, uh, all that time we've been taking water on board and didn't realize it. Oh yeah. There you go. Whew. Safe and sound for the next person. All right. Goodbye, beach. I'll see you later. So I showed you what the room looks like, what the pool looked like, what the pool looked like, the food, the staff, and of course, we cannot forget about that beautiful, beautiful sunset. Honestly, one of the best sunsets i've seen in my life and uh yeah unfortunately we are going to be checking out so i had to come and show you one of my favorite spots in this whole place man look at this incredible view and this is actually where we went earlier paddled all the way to there nearly didn't make it but of course we did uh yeah man it's been an incredible hotel incredible stay and i'll definitely be back again um so yeah make sure you come check them out. I'm going to be leaving the hotel's name in the description. 100% uh, recommend it any day of the week. So guys, I'm going to be ending the video right here. If you are enjoying the content that I am making here in the Philippines, please do subscribe and follow. I'm making content from literally all over the country. And I'll see you in the next video. Salamat. Hope.